Hi folks, I hope everybody's doing good today. It's a fine Sunday. Um, well, I was going to do, show you guys my Buck 112 50th Anniversary Edition. Um, which will be kind of the little brother to this. And I've been carrying this quite a bit. Got nothing else to add to it other than it's awesome. Maybe a little dangerous. But it's awesome. When I was watching Boston Blade reviews, um, he got the Slim 112 uh, buck. And he says that that's his favorite carry out of buck. Which, I mean, I can understand because it's a lot lighter. Me, I'm used to, I, I carried a 110 for so long that this actually seems light to me. So, this is my favorite buck carry. Of course, you know, the iconic 110 is always fun to bring out, too. But, because this is an auto, and it's a little bit dangerous, it's um, something that I love to carry. And there's, I don't know if this is a problem. Listen to this spring load up when you close it. But, since it has a lifetime warranty, if it is a problem and the spring breaks, I'll just have to send it back. So, there's that. Now, news. News. News of the day. Um, Larry Wilson already got his um, Remington. And um, Ian Rosie out in Northern Ireland is still waiting on his hippo toe that he won. Um, they just went through customs in the UK or England, Heathrow, I think, wherever it's at. But I just looked at the tracking this morning and won't be long before he may even get his before Christmas. How do you, you know, how, how can you go wrong with that? Which reminds me, since we're talking about Christmas here, I'm probably going to do another Chris or do a Christmas giveaway in this upcoming week, which again, you probably won't receive it till Christmas, but you'll know it's on the way, so, um, it's not quite a, like, um, Larry's got his Remington, had his daughter, uh, got a Ellie, I think her name was, um, putting it under the tree for him, he sent me a picture, she's so cute, and beautiful tree, Larry, um, so, yeah, Christmas, I'll probably do a giveaway sometime this week, um, so stay tuned. Um, I got a couple Christmas presents in from two of my subscribers, and I'll show those later in the week, too. Um, yeah, that's probably pretty much it for the news. I'm doing really good. Um, you probably see uh, all my toenails out here that's just because I put them back up here because they need to be cleaned I never put a knife away with um, you know oil at, from your fingertips on it and stuff because it will stain over time I'm, I'm always rotating my knives so much so that that's really not that much of a concern they get cleaned quite a bit and you know the way I store them it's um, easy access to bring them out and Put them on the kitchen table. So we'll give you another look at those really quick. And up over here, you'll see that case, Dogleg Whitler, and the Sheffield knife behind it. Over here, um, just some other knives. Here's that buck that I was talking about, the buck spitfire. But I'll show you that later today. I'm probably going to do the um, the Ranger 112 50th anniversary knife video. And the other thing I noticed, I was reading up on Lucas Burnley, and 
um, these Burnley Barlows. And I found out that the, these sheaves are all hand cut and hand made. And then if you kind of look at it, there's the proof right there. The tops are even, and this one's longer here to the left. And also you'll see this one was trimmed closer to the stitching than this one. So I just thought that was kind of cool that, um, yeah, you're getting handmade quality from Boker. And I want to show you the handle on this one more time because <clears throat> the mineral oil really settled in and the colors are coming out quite, quite well. And this is just scarring from the um, sheath. And just mix that. Uh, there we go. Now it looks better. Get a little more oil into it. But yeah, these sheaths definitely leave their mark, as you'll see with the micarta. It's going back to that two-tone. But that's, that's the way they're made, and that's the way I'm going to use them. It's still got to get a couple lanyards. Okay, so what's next? Yes. The old Sheffield Jack that just came in from GEC. Here's the tube. And as you'll see, there's some, um, it's an old picture of Sheffield, England. I don't know exactly what that building might be. Or the ones in the background, but a pretty cool pic. Anyway, old Sheffield Jack in the uh, old style um, font. Northfield, unexcelled. And this is the 39 pattern. Two blades. Um, number two, which is, I believe, the spear point. And 22 is the year. Elderberry camel bone. So let's see what's inside real quick. Nothing like a Sheffield Barlow to open up a Sheffield Jack container. Oops, let's try this side. There we go. Let's see what we got in here. Ooh, a pin. The pin says Northfield number 392222 Old Sheffield Jack unexcelled so we'll keep that and you get your no stain wax paper and there's the jack now my camera is making it look a lot more pink than it is but a lot of these did come, if you look at the website, the dye job they did, um, shows a lot of them as pink. But if you, if I had a halfway decent camera, you would see that it's red and not pink. Which makes me feel good, because I asked him to give me, if he could, um... Get me a darker toned one because the lighter ones definitely look pink. But pink's not bad. I actually have a pink shirt somewhere. But let's see what kind of quality we got here. Um, that's flawless. Transitions to bolster. It's almost like a Barlow, just a, a smaller bolster. There's no end cap. Beautiful jackknife. Threaded bolster, threaded nickel silver bolster. Um, they just call this the oval shield. And let's see what kind of blades we got. 
still having problems with my thumb, which makes opening blades tough. Get your spear point. Northfield unexcelled, it says. Um, what's that say? Titusville, Pennsylvania is the bottom line. It's still got its oil on there. <clears throat> uh, 392222. You know, I was thinking, I'm wondering if this joint that's locking up on my thumb, if it has something to do with, if you notice my fingertips, I'm wondering if I'm getting dehydrated again. They took me off that one medication, but um, some of the other stuff will dry you out too. So I'm wondering if just the tendon is dried out. But it'll be something I, I'll ask my doctor. My next appointment is December 28th, and they're going to do a cancer scan on me. Um, the two previous, since I got out of the hospital, showed virtually no signs of cancer. So need your guys' prayers and best wishes one more time. Um, if we can get past this third look, um, it's from what I've been told that once you get past the, um, it's a six week period. So once you get past the 18, 18 weeks, three months that, um, without it coming back, that it might stay in remission for quite a while. So I'm just hoping on December 28th they don't tell me I need to do more chemo. But if that's what it takes, that's what I'll do. I don't give up. Don't quit. Keep on fighting. And stay dangerous. Till next time, my friends. Take care. Peace. Bye-bye.